Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, December 10, 1817, Mississippi joined the Union as our country's 20th state, taking its name from the Great River, which forms its western boundary. The new state was carved from the Mississippi Territory, which had been established in 1798, with Natchez as the capital. Early inhabitants of the area that became Mississippi included members of various Native American tribes, such as the Choctaw, Chickasaw, and the Natchez. Spanish explorers arrived in the region in 1540, but it was the French who established the first permanent settlement in present-day Mississippi, in 1699, and later in 1716, Fort Rosalie and Natchez. During the first half of the 19th century, Mississippi was the top cotton producer in the United States, and owners of large plantations depended on the labor of African slaves. The aristocratic planter element of the Natchez region initially dominated Mississippi's government as reflected in the state's first constitution. Mississippi seceded from the Union in 1861 and suffered greatly during the American Civil War. Despite the abolition of slavery, racial discrimination endured in Mississippi, and the state was a battleground of the civil rights movement in the mid-20th century. Today, Mississippi is noted for its improving civil rights record and increasing industrialization. And of course, its commitment to heritage tourism, an integral part of the local Natchez economy, as is evident in the thousands of visitors who have flocked to the River City to celebrate its tricentennial. Natchez, Mississippi, a place where the river is wide and the history runs deep. I'm William Winter former governor of Mississippi. And this has been your Natchez History Minute. Happy birthday, Mississippi, and happy tricentennial Natchez.